हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल स्टैंड्स बिफोर यू विथ ए न्यू वीडियो रिलेटिंग टू एन इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस व्हिच इज फेमिनिज्म एंड दिस वीडियो रिलेट्स with mainly three aspects of feminism like meaning of feminism arguments of feminism and ties of feminism so this video mainly relates with feminism and it relates mainly three aspects of feminism like its meaning not two arguments and number three types and i have full confidence that this video will be very much useful for students those who are in the plus 2 plus 3 and other competitive examinations and this video will give a very useful informations about the meaning types and categories of feminism and many other informations about feminism so viewers we will start very good first of all take up what is feminism but before we take up what is feminism we must know a few lines about feminism feminism is an ideology which has been originated in the 18th century and it is in the peak or apex in the 20th century and this ideology has been originated from europe and the word feminism was coined for the first time by charles fourier in 1837 and this ideology feminism has come to limelight or has become very popular by scholars like Mary Wollstonecraft Kristen D Pearson Elizabeth Cady Stanton Susan B Anthony Emma Goldman and in India it has become popular or it has come to seen by various scholars like Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar Dhanan Saraswati, Annie Besant, Raja Ramon Roy, Pandita Ramabai, and Mahatma Gandhi. So, feminism is a very important ideology. It is an humanitarian ideology. It is an ideology whose main object is to make men and women equal it protests against torture of women suppression of women it wants to give women a respectable place in the society so it is a very important movement important ideology and prominent principle now we'll discuss what is feminism feminism has come from the latin word femina femina means it is an ideology which relates with the promotion of interest of women 
it is a pro women ideology it stresses it argues for the promotion of interest of women so far as feminism is concerned oxford english dictionary oxford english dictionary has told that feminism is an ideology which says that like males women should also be given social economic political and legal rights so again speak oxford english dictionary mentions that feminism is an ideology which wants that like men women also be given social economic political and legal rights so any ideology which points out to give women social economic political and legal rights like men is feminism charlotte bunch charlotte c h a r l o t h e charlotte bunch b u n c h also has given a nice definition about feminism he has told that feminism is an ideology which adds some extra rights for women and it is a social reformation movement so again speak charlotte bunch has said that feminism is an ideology which adds some extra rights for women and it is a movement whose objective is to bring social reforms so you are clear that feminism is an ideology which wants to promote the interest of women it wants to give women a respectable place in the society so now you are clear what is feminism now we'll see what are the main arguments of feminism feminism has five pillars the first pillar or the first important argument of feminism is it speaks for the gender equality it speaks that both males and females are equal they are the beautiful creation of god neither males are superior from females nor females are inferior to males both males and females are equal in society they should be given equal privileges equal opportunities and equal rights there should not be any type of discrimination between men and women this is the first important prominent ideology idea of feminism the second important idea of feminism is voice against sex based work it says that work is for all there should not be any work which is for males and there should not be any work which is for females they should perform all day of work together with the family also there should not be any work which males should perform and there should not be any work which females should perform there should not be sex based work in society nice idea very good number 3 economic independence another important argument of feminism is economic independence they point out that women should be given freedom to work if they will work they can earn something they can earn something and they will not depend on men and so long as they will depend on men they will not have prestige in society so women should be given economic freedom 
they should be given privileges to work to earn something so they should be given economic independence the fourth argument of feminism is voice against patriarchy system patriarchy system is system where in the family father is the head he will give that he will give directions to all everybody should bow their head before the father and women should give service to men they are like servants so fascism resists against patriarchal system it says patriarchal system should be abolished so long as patriarchal system will be in the society women cannot be equal with men so it's so patriarchal system should be rooted out it is the source of all problem for women last important argument of feminism is women are not objects of amusement it says from the people think that women do not have any prestige in society they should not have any important status status in the family because they are objects for pleasure they are they are object to give amusements so feminism want wants that women should not be considered as object of amusements they have also their own soul soul they should not be considered as object to be amused so women should be should be brought from that level and this should be given equal status with men they should not be considered as objects to be enjoyed so women should be given same status as males enjoy in the society so in this video you are clear what is feminism when it has been originated who coined the word feminism what are their important arguments now we'll discuss there are three categories of feminism number 1 is liberal feminism it was within 19th century to 20th century its supporters were j s mill mary wollstonecraft betty friedman and harriet taylor so what it speaks liberal feminism speaks that both males and females are the beautiful creation of god none is superior than other so both males and females should be given equal status equal prestige in the society they are equal there should not be any discrimination between males and females this is what liberal feminism is another category of feminism is socialist feminism it has become popular by robert owen st simon charles fourier and it was very popular in the 20th century so what socialist feminism speaks it speaks that there should not be any work which is for males and there should not be any work which is for females there should not be any sex based work male and females can perform any work within the family and outside the family there should not be any sex based work they can perform any work work is open for all there is no such work which is for males and there is no such work which is for females 
within the family and out of the family. Last one is radical feminism. It has become popular by Kate Millett. Germany Greer and Eva Figes. Radical feminism speaks that the root cause for the torture, suppression and low status of women is only one which is patriarchy system. If Petrol system should be abolished. Women will have same status, same prestige with males. They will not be suppressed, they cannot be tortured, and they can be made equal with males in the society. And petrol system is the root cause of all problem for the women. So my viewers, this video mainly concentrates with the meaning of feminism, from which word feminism has come, who were the men who uttered it first, what is feminism, how it is defined by Oxford Dictionary and how it is defined by Charlotte Bunch, what are the main arguments of feminism and what are the different categories of feminism. I think this video will be very much useful to my viewers. You may be in plus two or plus three or may be engaged for computer examinations. I think you should take good use of this video and this video will be very much helpful for your academic life. Okay viewers, again we will be here with another video. Till now, goodbye to all. If you like this video, comment it, subscribe my channel so the benefit will be yours. Okay, goodbye to all.